An update now on a story of a long lost love we first told you about a couple of weeks ago. Bob Hagelin desperately searching for the only woman he says he has ever loved. And he spent just a few hours with her, with Joyce Hook, on a brief stopover in Melbourne, Australia, as he served with the Merchant Navy in 1965. But in all the years since, Bob says he could never get Joyce out of his head. Now he is getting some well-deserved international exposure that may help unite them. A News Mid-Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett joins us now in our Mid-Island Bureau. Jonathan. Hudson, a TV crew from Australia was expected to interview Bob Hagelin late today. Joyce Hook is believed to be living in either the UK or Australia. And if she's out there, Bob Hagelin wants to get a message out to her. Bob Hagelin has spent a lifetime longing for something lost, wishing he hadn't let go. But I consider myself one of the luckiest people in the world also because I know what true love is. True love found in 1965 at a coffee shop in Melbourne, Australia. Her name was Joyce Hook. I seen her in the store and I, that's it. That's the girl I want to spend my life with. So finally I encouraged you and asked her out. They only spent three and a half hours together, but he knew he had found the one and the feelings seemed mutual. She says, are you going to come back? And I said, yeah, I'll come back. And she got near the bus, just getting on it. And she said, do you promise? That was it. I promise. Hagland returned to sea, but a letter from Joyce was lost in the mail for three years. By then, Hagland thought she had moved on. I hope she's had a good life. I hope she has. But also, I hope she's waiting for me. You know what I mean? We first brought you this story when a crew from the MTV program The Buried Life visited A News to see if we could help track down Joyce Hook. Hagland had written a letter that was posted online. We were blown away by this letter and then to see that it's from our home, you know, it made all, it made, it just made it all the more beautiful and so you kind of feel like sometimes love like this doesn't exist anymore. And today more media attention, a TV crew from Channel 9 Melbourne on their way back from the G20 in Toronto was to stop by Nanaimo to interview Hagland. I'm excited because they want to get it on the news down there right away. And maybe, just maybe, Joyce Hook will see the news story and he can finally tell her what's been on his mind for 45 years. I would like to let her know that she didn't do anything wrong. If nothing else, his quest has given him a new lease on life. It's the best I've felt. Every day means something. It didn't before, but it does now. I must check that email a hundred times a day. In Nanaimo, Jonathan Bartlett, A News. And last we heard that Aussie TV crew hasn't made contact with Bob Hagelin. They may have been delayed or redirected. A second Australian TV network and a number of newspapers have been in contact with him as well. And a member of a genealogical society has called us to look at the possibility of taking on the search for Joyce Hook as a project. If you'd like to read Bob's letter to Joyce, go to find, findingjoyce.com on the internet. We'll keep on top of this story, and we wish Bob all the best of luck in finding his long lost love. Mm -hmm. awesome. And of course, the Buried Life episode we expect will be on the air in September. That's right, in September, and uh, yeah, we, we'll be watching if Joyce hasn't been found by then. All right. Jonathan, thank you. You're welcome.